I'm gonna put you boys on to a Facebook upgrade that could uh, make you rich. I'm not exaggerating by any means and I'm gonna prove it to you at the end of this video here, but listen, I've been seeing Nike tech suits for years. I've always wondered what the hype was about. I thought it was a fad, but they seem to be upgrading them like month after month. So, I mean, year after year. So I'm gonna jump in right now. I'm gonna jump into Nike right now and see if I can find me a nice pair of black Nike tech fleets. All right, boys, so I pulled up to Nike, ready to buy a pair of the Nike tech fleet suits they got. But unfortunately, everything was sold out. I'm not trying to drive 30 minutes. So I pulled up to Polo Ralph Lauren, and guess what they got? This is their version of a Nike Tech suit right here. All right, this is a medium hoodie right here, you guys can see, and then I got medium sweats. All right, so this is the large right here. A lot more comfortable, honestly. All right, so the Logan Paul fight is happening right now, but I couldn't make it home in time. So I stopped by to grab some food right here. I'm gonna show you guys uh, this place right here. It's called Southern Kin Cookhouse uh, Fire Chicken, I guess, from the reviews. But KSI is coming up right now with Tommy Fury. Honestly, I think Tommy Fury is gonna win it. He's just a boxer, that's a fact. And then when it comes to the Logan Paul and Dylan Dennis fight, honestly, should be pretty interesting because none of them are boxers for real but dylan danis is a fighter so we're gonna see how that plays out let me show you guys uh this chicken sandwich i got all right so this is the mac and cheese and then on this joint supposed to be some coleslaw somewhere straight to the point i guess why not hmm First impression, mid, 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 mid. I'm not gonna lie to you boys, man. This fight is a fucking joke, bro. Bro can't box. Bro can't even squabble at all. These, these fights are a fucking hoax, bro. Cause I don't think these guys even train. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. They just rake in money. So it's a great build up for Dylan Dennis, but fuck bro four years show up to a fight and you don't fight the fuck you thinking man but listen i'm gonna put you guys on to another spot it's called two les jours so it has a french name to it but it seems japanese or asian um so a bunch of desserts let's check out what they got all right here we go powdered donut but it's filled with red bean custard mm. i don't know what they put in this shit, but red bean donut they're onto some i don't think beans could be so delicious but in a donut i guess it works out so here is the uh facebook glitch that i was talking about uh, that I promised you, all right? That could make you rich. Now, I've been in the internet marketing space for, I actually started making money with internet marketing and online advertising six years ago, 2017 with e-commerce. And in those days, all right, you had to drive traffic from a Facebook advertisement, Google advertisement, whatever, to your landing page, to your website. And then at that point in time, the uh, traffic or, or whoever the person, the visitor or the prospect would make a decision of they, what they wanted to click on, um, what data they wanted to provide, right? If they wanted to provide you know, their, their name and email and phone number or their credit card info uh, or book a time and a slot. So the one thing you have to learn though about online advertising and internet marketing is it's all about psychology so before somebody provides you with their info and their data or their credit card info consciously or subconsciously they're thinking to themselves well who the fuck is this guy or who the fuck is who's abcycompany.com you know and and there's a good stat out there that 
always sticks with me and I share with every single person that is looking to get started in online advertising and internet marketing is people are probably, I mean, I think the statistic is about two to three times more afraid to lose their money than they are to actually get the desired outcome or result that you're promising them. That's what great marketers and advertisers are good at, or at least that's what I've come to notice the good advertisers and marketers are good at is filling in that gap of trust and credibility that the brand or business lacks in the marketplace. Now here's the thing, okay, I'm gonna cut to the chase here. It's the golden moment. Facebook has been working on their uh, this product feature called Facebook lead forms, all right? And more importantly, the Facebook uh, or Instagram shops, also TikTok uh, has been putting so much focus and development and money towards and placement towards their TikTok shops. Now, these are slight opportunity windows in the market where um, you could leverage all the trust and credibility from these platforms at critical points in your buyer's journey. Okay, so here's what I mean. Remember what I said, in the old days, you had to use the Facebook ads, the Google ads, the YouTube ads, and drive them over to your page in order for them to engage with your business by any means, like put in their info, their email and their phone number, or their name, book a call, or submit their credit card info. But nowadays, with the Facebook lead forms, they can submit their information on the app itself without even having to leave Instagram or Facebook. And now even Google has rolled out their uh, Google lead forms. So the truth is that not only, not only is it, are you able to leverage the trust and credibility, but they also auto fill the, the fields with the account info. So whatever account info they're using for um, their Instagram account, their email, their phone number, their, their name, is going to pre-fill on the form. So the quality of the data and inputs that you're getting is astronomically higher. So we have brands that are literally fucking printing money, businesses that are printing money, hotels, medical spas, uh, training facilities, law firms, the list goes on and on, but all these businesses were leveraging Facebook lead forms for, and now Google lead forms as well. And they are just getting insanely high quality leads for so cheap. So here's one of my suggestions to you. Find businesses that would pay you anywhere from a thousand to $3,000 a month for you to set them up for them. Look up YouTube videos on Facebook lead forms, Google lead forms, learn more about it and learn how to charge businesses. Let me know if you have any questions below and I'll just answer them on the next video. Peace.